but nothing that's looking absolutely telling. Now I'm going to pull this to the right and say, well, what if, obviously, if you were to, to make assumptions about this data, you'd probably be saying, well, if the age goes up, their batting average would go down. That would be the hypothesis that you would most likely be making, making the age the dependent or the independent factor and the batting average dependent. It would look fun. So, but you could think about it the other way. Let's reverse this chart just to just to do it. So I'm going to go back to this tab and select the same data, control shift down and control backspace and then insert charts, scatter plot. And this time I want to change the axes. So let's add an axis, axis title. But this time I want to make the X equal to the batting average as if it's the driving factor that is going to be correlating to the age. So, and, and so sometimes you don't know which is which and you could plot it either way. You're still going to get the same kind of correlation direction, negative correlation in this case, but I need to flip the data around then to do that. So I'm going to go to the charts. I'm going to go to the select data up top, pick our data here and edit it. And then this X factor, I'm going to delete it needs to be, I want to make that the BA data control shift down control backspace. And there it is. Make sure and then on the Y, I'm going to delete this data and make this equal to the Y data control shift down control backspace. And boom. So there we have that one. And okay. Okay. So there's that scatter scatter. If I add the trend line in that one, I still get that slightly downward sloping uh, trend line. If I then take a look at the options and, and format it, we're going to go to the bucket up top, make it a straight line and orange for the buckets or orange, make it orange. That's the format that, that we like to see the line in. All right. Okay, so then we've got that. And so then I can let, let's let Excel do the correlation calculation and see if it gets to the same uh, 0.05 that we got to here. So let's try that. So let's go, let's go to the in to the data tab to our analysis. If you don't have that analysis, it's in the file tab. It's in the options. It's in the, the add ins. And then it's in the add ins down here. And then you go to that and then you click off the tool pack if you want to be part of the cool cats. All right. So then we're going to go up to the data analysis and we're going to say this is going to be the correlation of, okay, let's go into it first. Hit in the tab. Which, where's the data set we want to go to? We want this data set, the age and the batting average control shift down control backspace going back up top. We picked up the row for the column. So we want the labels on the first row. Where do we want to put it on our worksheet? We want to put it right there. And so we'll say, okay. And so there it is. So it looks like we've coming up with the same correlation. Let's add some decimals to better recognize. And so there we come up with the same correlation. Mui B to the N. Let's make a skinny. Let's make this black and white. Home tab, font group, black, white, there, there that is. Now we can also do our, our standard statistics on this one just to practice that for the fun of it with our data, data tab, analysis, data, data analysis. analysis. We want the descriptive statistics and then we'll pick up the data inputs here. Control shift down, control backspace. We want to pick up the labels, output range is over here we want to put it over here somewhere right there and then i'm going to get the summary statistics and possibly the confidence at 95 and okay so that spits out our general data here it's not dynamic it's hard coded in other words but there it is Let's format this. I'm going to format this and say, let's go to the home tab, black, white. I'm going to make a skinny V 
I'm going to make all this blue and bordered, and then next time we'll pick some other stuff and see if we can get a higher correlation. So I'm going to go to the Home tab, Font Group, Bucket, drop down, not black, but that blue. If you don't have that blue, I use standard blue right there and border it as well border blue and then i'll make this border blue and then i'll make this border blue and then i'll make this whole thing control shift down border blue and then i'll make this border blue and then i'll make even this border blue control shift down border blue we'll make the same skinny columns too but i'll wait to do that next time uh, as we pick some other data sets again and try to see if we can find a higher correlation between them.